Hello, Dr. Dave Gatros, and what I want to do today is to demonstrate how to compile a C++ program in a Unix environment. A very, very simple compile. I'm going to do three things. I'm going to compile a single file, uh, multiple files into one unit, and then I'm going to use a make file for the multiple files. So three things we want to do right here. And one along the way with that, I'm going to show you a few useful Unix commands, just in case you don't know what they are. Well, here I've logged into the account. The computer we're using is LinPro here at Florida State University. It's what the students use to do their programming on. And uh, I've logged in. I want to find out uh, where I'm located. So PWD is Print Working Directory. So I'm in, my, I'm in my home directory. The files that I want to go to are in subdirectories and classes. Uh, class files, public classes, CLP 3330, and then sample programs. And I'll do a clear, which clears the screen, and LS shows me the files that are in there. I've got six files in there. Uh, box files, box.cpp, box.h. We'll explain those later on in our course that we're going to be teaching. Hello is an executable that I just compiled and tested. Hello.cpp is a source file, as is mainbox.cpp, and the make file is what we're going to show you last, how to compile with just a, the make utility. All right, well, let's, um, uh, let's actually compile the hello world program. Let me show it to you first using the more command, which uh, displays a file one page at a time. Hello.cpp, and there it is, hello.cpp, a simple hello world program. So we're going to compile it, G++, uh, dash O, it allows us to rename the output file. Instead of A.out, it'll give it the name we give it. We'll call it hello. And then we say, we give it the um, options. The standard option, or the standard compiler we want to use is the C++ compiler, which is S, uh, dash SCD equal. And then we say C++ 11, and then uh, hello dot hello.cpp. All right, so let's try that. And we got no error, which tells us it probably worked. Okay, well, let's run it. Let's just say hello. And there's hello world. Wonderful. All right, so we'll clear that out. And that's how you do just a simple, simple file. Well, the next one we're going to do is, um, let me do a ls-l. This is all the uh, details of it. The next one we're going to do is going to involve three files. It's going to involve mainbox.cpp, that's the main routine, and then a class we've written called box, box.h and box.cpp. We don't have to be concerned right now with what those files are. Suffice it to say that uh, it takes all three of them to make the program work. Well, mainbox is the main routine, and box.h and box.cpp are used by mainbox.cpp. So here's the order if we're going to do it manually. We'll clear it out again. So I'm going to do G++. Okay. Now use the dash C option. Dash C option is when I want to compile only. And this is used in all the subordinate files and not the main routine. Dash C. And again I want to use my standard C11. C, C++ 11. And then I'll say box. I'll just do box.h. I don't have to, but I can do box.h. That one works. And then I'll do the same thing with box.cpp. And then I'll also do the same thing with uh, mainbox.cpp. So those compiles only created intermediate files. But you'll see them up there. They're called .o and there's one called h.gch. Those are intermediate files that we're going to use to uh, build it. All right, now we want to build our main routine. Then our main program, what do we do? We do G++, and we do the dash O again. We're going to call this main box. That's what we're going to call the executable. And we're going to do std equals C++11. And then we have to include the 2.0 o files, which is mainbox.o and box.o. Box and if I didn't make any mistakes, this should work just fine. It did. And we say main box and it just draws a, a little box uh, using ASCII characters that's, a, that's one of the exercises we do in the class well that's a sample of how you compile a, sim a single file compile and a multi file compile now the last thing I want to do is I want to show you a make file okay. 
Before I do that, I'm going to remove all of the temporary files. Uh, hello, I'm going to remove mainbox. Uh, remove mainbox. Okay, and I'm going to remove box. H.gch. Okay, so there's all the modules. So the only thing we've got left is the source code and that file over there called mainbox. Now I'm going to clear this off and I'm going to show you, I'm going to go into the Pico editor and I'm going to show you what it looks like. This is a make file and it's a very, very simple little make file and it's one you should probably copy and take a look at that is used for all kind of standard three uh, file compiles, a main file with say a, a class, a simple class. Now you'll see up here that I've got uh, a main box, the thing I'm going to create, and it's dependent upon two files. The thing that you need to notice that in front of this G++ right here, these are uh, shell lines, there's a tab character. So if I back up, I say tab, there has to be a tab character in front of it for the make utility to realize that this is actually a shell command. Now I'm not going to explain make files in this video. I actually have a, a lecture series on that which uh, I'm going to encourage you to go to my YouTube channel and look. But this is what we're going to do. This makes compiling very very easy once we've got this set up. So I'm going to control O and control X this. Clear. Now I'm going to show you to compile that those uh, three files for the box I just say make and what it does is it goes out and it finds all the files and compiles it and builds it and and makes it work okay all right well this is a uh, this is uh, concludes our demonstration of how to do a simple compile in uh, the G++ environment on Linprog um, I uh, encourage you before you actually start working on the class in diligence to actually go through uh, make sure you understand um, uh, simple Unix commands and the make utility and uh, look over the uh, instructions in those areas and, and uh, hope this uh, helps you out and I look forward to doing more videos for you. Thank you.